Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert sparklines into your worksheets to illustrate changes to data values within a column or row of contiguous worksheet cells. A sparkline is basically a mini chart that appears within a single selected worksheet cell and displays selected cell values as either a trend line, as columns, or as a win-loss series. To create a sparkline within a cell, first select the cell within which you would like the sparkline to appear. Often this will be the cell at the end of a column or row of data values that you want to illustrate visually. Then click the desired type of sparkline to insert into the cell by clicking either the line, column, or win-loss buttons within the sparklines button group on the insert tab within the ribbon. In the Create Sparklines dialog box that then appears, click into the Data Range field. Then click and drag over the cells within the worksheet whose values you wish to illustrate within the sparkline. Note that the cells that you select that contain the values to show within the sparkline need to be adjacent to each other and in the order that you want them to be displayed within the sparkline. After selecting the cells, you should note that the Location Range field will display a reference to the initially selected cell within the worksheet. This is the cell that will contain the sparkline. You can change this value if needed. Once you have made your selections, click the OK button within the dialog box to insert a sparkline of the selected type into your worksheet. Another way to create sparklines within a worksheet is to first select the cells that contain the values that you want to illustrate within the sparklines. Then click either the line, column, or win-loss buttons within the sparklines button group on the insert tab within the ribbon. Within the create sparklines dialog box, you can then click into the location range field and then select the cell range within the worksheet where you want the spark lines of the initially selected data to appear. You can then click the OK button to insert multiple spark lines, called a spark line group, for the selected data into the chosen location. To delete spark lines, first select a spark line to delete. Then click the Design tab within the Sparkline Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Then click the drop-down button that appears to the right of the Clear button within the Group button group. From the drop-down menu that appears, you can select either the Clear Selected Sparklines command to delete the selected sparkline, or choose the Delete Selected Sparkline group command to delete the entire selected sparkline group. Note that simply clicking the Clear button directly will only delete the selected sparkline and not the entire sparkline group. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.